What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing another transfer update. But we've got plenty of news to get through. Before I crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content and you want to help support my channel, then make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm aiming for 7,000 subscribers at the time of recording this video. I'm less than 600 subscribers away. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. I'm also going to be doing my live stream tomorrow of the Manchester City versus Burnley game for the live watch along with me. So if you want to go and join me uh, on there, I'll be putting that link up either today or tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that you can set your reminder but don't forget also you can find my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and don't forget also leave your thoughts in the comments below of these transfers so without further ado we're going to crack on with this video and we're going to change it up a bit okay i'm going to start off with the outs first rather than the ins we've got a big update in terms of angelino this is interesting interesting red bull leipzig they cannot afford the 22 to 23 million euro option that they have got to bring in angelino now first up they've just sold timo Werner for over 50 million euro so i'm not sure too sure if they're needing that to balance the books or whatever uh but okay they can't afford it that's fair enough all I'm saying is Angelino, he's been on, um, sorry, he's played for PSV and City signed him from PSV. He's done very well in the era de VC. Manchester City wanted to re-sign him when we sold him. He's been out on loan at Red Bull Leipzig and he's put in great performance after great performance after great performance. He's an exceptional player. He's just a player that simply does not fit Manchester City's style of play and our formation. But there are lots of clubs out there that formation he would suit and he will be an exceptional player for them. I have no doubt about that whatsoever. He is such a quality offensive football player going forward. He's brilliant. 22 to 23 million euro in my opinion is too low for him. I feel like Red Bull Leipzig have got that option to sign him for 22 or 23 million euro. I feel like if he's offered to other clubs for that price Teams had snapped City's leg off and they'd snatch him straight away for that price. He is a brilliant football player. He is. Proven in uh, the area of VC, doing really well in the Bundesliga. And like I said, if he suited City's formation, I have no doubt he'd be a great player in the Premier League too. Just look how well he did in the Champions League, ripping Tottenham Hotspur apart. He's a brilliant football player. Great crosser of the ball. Great vision too. He's a good passer as well. So, if our City, Leipzig don't take that option. One or two options sell him somewhere else and hopefully we can get even more money because I feel like he's worth more than that. I feel like uh, the, the encouragement of the loan there is the deal with 22, 23 million euro for Leipzig. Or if Leipzig do want him and they can't afford him, maybe they can negotiate a deal. I'm hinting towards possibly a player that we are getting linked with at the moment in time, a centre-back, Dea Upamecano, apparently available for roughly around 50 million euro. Perhaps City could do um, just over 25 million euro plus Angelino to sign Upamecano. Just putting that one out there. I'd like to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. Now we've got an update on on another City loanee that's been doing really well. Comes in the form of Jack Harrison. His loan has been extended at Leeds United now past June 30th until the end of the championship season. So Jack Harrison will be staying at Leeds United. I'm not too sure what's going to be happening with, with regards to his future uh, for next season. I'll have that when I'm doing my daily Manchester City transfer updates when the transfer window does open. Now, we've got some clarity on Claudio Bravo. He's going to be staying at Manchester City until the end of the season. Pep Guardiola has confirmed that's all that sorted. Um, so I presume that the contract's been extended for him until the end of the season. No word yet on if it's going to be extended beyond this season or not, or whether City are going to be looking at another goalkeeper. Are we going to be looking to bring Zach Steffen back? Are we going to be loaning or selling Zach Steffen? Are we going to let Bravo leave? Are we going to promote Murich? I don't know what's going to happen. It is a little bit of a mess, but a little bit of clarity there for Claudio Bravo. Still not where, uh, got much of a word with regard regards to Scott Carson's loan being extended. According to The Sun, uh, they're wanting uh, Scott Carson's loan to be extended, but that hasn't um, gone through just yet. But hopefully that will be extended to City. I've got cover because at the moment in time, Claudio Bravo is nursing a little minor injury and so would be needed. Now, we've got an update. Goalkeepers, R.O. Murich. The Sun's reporting that R.O. Murich, he's going to be made available for loan for next season. I'm just wondering where he's going to be uh, made available for loan. I'm wondering if that's going to be back to the Championship and to a club that's going to play him, Not Nottingham Forest, or 
I'm wondering if it's going to possibly be abroad instead. I'm not too sure, still waiting for clarity on that, but it seems that RO Murich City are wanting to loan out. We're waiting for clarity on what's going to happen with Scott Carson's loan, and if City are going to extend that, and if they do, if they're going to extend it again next season, they're going to sign him permanently for next season. I do not know, and we don't know what's happening with Claudio Bravo. We don't know what's happening with Zach Steffen either. The only thing I do know for clarity is Edison, He's very settled in Manchester and wants to stay at Manchester City for the long term. So, yeah, that is good news. Now, we've got an update on Kyle Walker. This, again, has come from the Sun. It's come from Martin Blackburn, who's normally quite reliable when it comes to Manchester City information. Now, he's reporting that Manchester City do not want to sell Kyle Walker this season. And that's obviously quite evident why Manchester City don't want to do that. And that's because he's put in a string of quality performances for Manchester City this season. He's Manchester City's first choice right back. We're not going to sell him. Now, he's having a lot of interest from Inter Milan. OK? They want to sign Kyle Walker. That is their priority for right back. City aren't going to sell Kyle Walker. So, mark my words. It's, I'm very confident on that. That's not going to happen. However, uh, if they're looking Inter Milan by there, uh, if they're looking at alternative right backs, um, what does this mean for the future of João Cancelo? I've got an update on him. Cancelo, according to the Sun, is free to leave Manchester City at the end of the season, providing if Manchester City can sign a replacement for him. Now, my opinion this, I would like to see Cancelo do another season at Manchester City. So that will be two seasons under his belt, and we'll have, uh, we'll, we can judge better how good he's going to be for Manchester City. Kyle Walker's been great for Manchester City, and I feel that's why Cancelo hasn't had a look in uh, at City this season. That is why. So I, I don't, I can't sit here and say how good Cancelo is because he's not really being tested. Um, he's put in some performances when he has played for Manchester City and it hasn't been enough to overthrow Kyle Walker, so he needs to up his game. And um, City brought him in from Juventus. He's obviously highly rated. I mean, Inter Milan, Barcelona are getting linked. There's obviously something there, so I, I want to see that something for Manchester City. But he does need to step up his game if he wants to dispossess Kyle Walker for the right back spot. And it's seemingly being suggested he isn't prepared to do that battle and he wants to leave. And if that's the case, he is free to leave. Obviously, if City can bring in a replacement. Now, last but not least in the out, we've got an update on Patrick Roberts. Now, sources in the northeast coming from Northern Echo are reporting that Middlesbrough, they're interested in bringing in Patrick Roberts again next season. Wasn't mentioned but whether it was a loan or permanent transfer, but I'm going to presume it is another loan. Um, and in my opinion, Patrick Roberts, for the, well, for the sake of his career, needs a permanent transfer to leave Manchester City. We're signing back in 2015, and since the 2016-17 start of that season, he's been out on loan. That is five years of him being out on loan. That is crazy. Uh, I'm just not sure. When he did his two, lo two seasons on loan at Celtic, I don't know why Manchester City didn't sell Patrick Roberts to Celtic. He was enjoying his time at Parkhead. The club loved him, the fans loved him, the players enjoyed having him there. It would have been a match made in heaven. And since then, since he's come back to City and he's been loaned out here, there and everywhere, his career's just kind of just continued to decline. And it is a, a little bit sad to see. So I'd like to see him leave Manchester City on a permanent transfer so his future can be sorted and then he can focus on improving his game and uh, getting back to the level that we know he's capable of being at. Now we're going to go on to the ins. I've got an update on Romeo Lavia. Uh, now, he's announced his goodbyes to Anderlec on Instagram on Friday. And Jaden Braff, very interestingly, sent out a comment on this post uh, welcoming Lavia to Manchester City. So, yeah, uh, we're waiting for all but official confirmation on Romeo joining Manchester City. But I want to be the first to say, welcome, Romeo. I uh, hope you have a great time at Manchester City. And I'm hoping that he'll produce, uh, will develop through the academy and we'll see him at some point in the Manchester City first team. Highly rated young player. Liverpool were interested in bringing him in too. He's a 16-year-old defensive midfielder from Belgium. He was advised by Anderlecht and Vincent Company to stay at Anderlecht. But he wants to go and try his chance at Manchester City. Good opportunity like that comes about. I do not blame him. Now we've got a new name comes in the form of Philip Krastev of Slavia Sofia. He's an 18-year-old Bulgarian under-19 international who plays at cent uh, plays in central midfield. Now Slavia, they have announced that he uh, has had a medical at Manchester City on Thursday. That's according to sources close to Slavia Sofia. And so it seems that City are going to be bringing in not one young player in the term of Romeo Lavia, but two. We're going to be signing Philip Krastev as well, uh, if it is indeed true that he has had a medical and sources closer to the club are saying that he has so uh yeah man you don't tend to announce young players signing they tend to just turn up <laughs> when pre-season starts 
So yeah, looking forward to seeing who turns up uh, for next season. So there we go. Uh, and finally, in this update, we've got a big update in terms of Leon Bailey potentially joining Manchester City. Finally got an update on Leon Bailey. Now, Sports Witness have been reporting Leon Bailey. He is right at the top of Manchester City's shopping list uh, for bringing in a winger. Uh, Manchester City, they want the Bayer Leverkusen uh, winger to replace Leroy Sané. He can play on the left. He's quick, agile. More uh, Think of it like a like-for-like -like replacement for Leroy Sane, basically, is what they're looking for. Apparently, Pep's Keen City are doing their homework at this moment in time and are debating a move to see if they're going to make a move uh, for the uh, Jamaican international. Um, it's not sure. Um, the sources was a bit... Um, sketchy shall we say with their details on what was being reported uh, but it's coming from Foot Macanto uh, of France I'm not too sure who they are but they're saying that uh, Manchester City are having a good look at Leon Bailey I'm, not, I'm not, again I said I'm not too sure how true this is uh, I have heard word from England saying that Manchester City are prioritizing signing a centre back rather than a winger even with Leroy Sane leaving it's one of those that I imagine that if a player should come available for the right price in the wing position Manchester City will have a good look but I I find this really interesting, this is why I've included it in the video, because Daily Mail are reporting, that's in England, that uh, Bayer Leverkusen, they want €40 million Euro for Leon Bailey, and that, in my opinion, is very affordable. Manchester United are being linked, they've got no scouts, so that's why they're being linked, they just link everyone with who City are getting linked with, Chelsea are getting linked too. Uh, Manchester City, though, are thought to be favourites to bring him in, so yeah. Uh, we'll wait and see, but 40 million euro, uh, I'm confident we can get more for Leroy Sane than that. It means we'll make a little bit of a profit and we have a like-for-like -like replacement and we don't have to worry about the wings, uh, the wingers. And then we can turn all our focus for the rest of the summer upon bringing in a centre-back, which naturally should be City's focus. City are apparently also having a really good look at left-back too. So uh, I'm not too sure what's going to be happening with the future of Zinchenko. Is he going to be used as a midfielder, a winger? I'm not sure, uh, but I'm sure... We'll find out as the transfer window does develop and I'll be back with daily Manchester City transfer updates when that summer transfer window does indeed open. No word on when that will be, but apparently it will close on October. So there we go, that's been the video, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below too, don't forget to subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when I do upload, stay tuned for that live stream, don't forget also find my social media links in the description below and pop it up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, don't forget email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and I'll be back again tomorrow for the next Manchester City uh, transfer update i imagine if there is enough news if not i'll see you all again for that live stream tomorrow so i'll see you tomorrow not sure what video it will be though so i'll see you then so i've been jsgc i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day have a nice weekend too hope everyone's staying safe and well peace ciao for now sorry for the lighting and stuff like that it's a bit early in the morning when i've done this but there you go